am smelling like a rose that somebody gave me on my birthday deathbed. I am smelling like a rose that somebody gave me because I'm dead and bloated. <laughs> what? <laughs> this Did is it. not the type of high octane start that I thought we were gonna have. Uh, can we? Like can we it. just take a moment to uh, dissect those verses? Um, are you dead in this song? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to listen to it I, after. <laughs> it's like a '90s song, I think. Uh, never heard that song. No, yeah. I, think so. I have heard what? it. What? Yeah. Oh man. I don't know. Pilots. What's Stone the... Temple Pilots. STP. Okay, Welcome yes, to oh, the Venture STP. Ventures show, D and D show, where we sing and dissect songs and play D and D sometimes. I'm Jake Friday, Dungeon Master. Joined with me today is a bunch of writers, comedians, improvisers, great people, playing our players and characters. Uh, let's just go around real quick. Say who you are, um, and then your character name, and we'll get started. Uh, Justin. Yeah, hey, uh, my name's Justin Matson. Uh, I'm a comedian in Los Angeles. I play the character of Sarah Sierra, who's a, um, a homebrew class of a, a witch, uh, and she uh, has a line of beauty products. She's always trying to peddle. Uh, Dave. Uh, that's me. Hey, my name is... My character's name is Prodding Rod. Um, I'm a Kenku warlock, so I'm a a crow with no wings. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get my wings back. And my my name is Dave Roderick. So Catherine. <laughs> Hello, my name is Catherine Elise. I play a radio night song, a huggy drow monk. That's it. Richard. Uh, hi, my name is Richard Cardenas. I play Nihilus Nymerith. He is a Triton sorcerer, and he is bitchy all the time. Even to his sister, <laughs> who <laughs> was yeah. tortured by hags. And Listen, that's... don't come to him with your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess it's bullshit. Uh, but uh -huh. speaking of which, that's where we left off, uh, investigating a group of hags in an orphanage district of City of Anista, uh, who are allegedly, according to Nihilus' sister Annalyn, um, basically they're hags and they tortured her and blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's where we left off. You guys have investigated. And now you are you have just encountered a group of thugs that you dispatched with ease and the gargoyles guarding the outside of these um, two of them that are now outside the Sugar Plum House orphanage, have animated, and just when you thought they were going to do something aggressive towards you guys, they just moved to the side, revealing a staircase that leads down underneath the Sugar Plum House. What would you like to do? I think we go down. Wait, do we think this appeared because we just killed people? <laughs> do we know why this appeared? What do you guys think? I, we can talk to the gargoyles if you want. Yeah, why the hell? Oh, so I... the gargoyles are not attacking us. That's good. Uh, I mean, it feels like a trap, but I guess we, we want to just kill them today. So let's just go into the trap. and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when we've researched too much and now we're reckless. Yeah. I like yeah. it. <laughs> We we have no. Does anyone have any like inkling into why that group of like people just attacked us? Or I think to help us to help us level up. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I think it was. I think it was to make us very aware of what we're good at in battle and go from there. <laughs> they um they looked like in your previous uh, stakeouts of the orphanages. They looked similar to the other non-children around that you had seen going back and forth between the orphanages. Um, so they may be hired security or something. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, but yeah. I buy it. Cool. Yeah, let's go. Um, What's the yeah. marching order? What marching order do you guys have? Uh, I'll go first because I've been so aggressive about this. 
Okay. Uh, can I go last? Because I'm like uh, a, a very weak wizard with no, <laughs> yeah. I'll 10 go second. armor class. <laughs> uh, Nihilus, uh, you have mage armor up, I believe. Yes. Okay. Oh. Yeah, can, I, can I cast that out of battle? Or how long does it... It lasts eight hours. Mm -hmm. You can it cast it out of combat. Oh, okay, I cast mage armor right now. So just so yeah. before I go in. Awesome. Who's after Smart. Nihilus? It'd be Prodi. Dave, right? If Sarah's last. And you're Jaegering uh, Haughty, Catherine? Oh, yes. Um, you know what? Let's make Haughty first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, he's our he's our barbarian. Let's do it. He's the strongest. Mm-hmm. All right, and Sarah, you still have, uh, you still have uh, Mahog, and the baby animated table, as well as uh, Siren, the iridescent green Fey Pomeranian. Oh, yes. I you have Siren, Sarah. Oh, because I I protected him when uh, after it. I almost Got killed it. him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, just like a, a side cool. note, Nihilus will oh, yeah, be calling we... Mahog Diana Ross. <laughs> Diana Ross. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Wait, can we heal Siren real quick before we go think, in there? Can someone I think make that happen? Dave did last time yeah. already. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, Is Dave a... looks confused. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. As what long as he saved, it healed the. Oh yeah, I use one of my he yeah, use one of my healing potions. Great. Is there anything we can do with this dog to like, like hide him in a purse or something to keep him safe? Until can you put him, him in? Oh, do you remember you put him inside a radius backpack? No, because remember he'll he'll disappear forever. It's only for books. Uh, um... Do you remember uh, what Stoppard told you about Siren? Like Don't what? Let it die. He... Don't let him die. And that he finds hag hag eyes, so we probably should have him out. He also told you like resistances and stuff like that. Oh, we did. That's right. Uh, okay, let me just get this paper. <laughs> <laughs> I had that written down. Make an intelligence okay. check if you don't remember. Um, sure. I will make an intelligence just to remember <laughs> uh, all the things I know already. Um, Oh, okay. And I rolled. Uh, I'm going to add my intelligence, which is plus three. And I'm... Okay, so I rolled an eight. Yeah, you can't quite remember. I know yep. I have this somewhere. That, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys are making your way down, and Hottie is leading the way. You guys start going down the stairs, and... Uh, uh, Siren gets real excited and uh, jumpy the closer you get down there, probably probably by some nearby treats that she loves, and uh, make a dex uh, check, Justin, to see if you can hold on to her as she tries to jump out of your arms. No! Siren, why are you doing this? Uh, I rolled a 12. Yeah, uh, she jumps out of your arms and oh, no. runs down the stairs ahead of you guys. Uh, if any of you want to try to grab her, make a dex check. Otherwise, she is gone. I'll try to grab her. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to grab her. Well, I got a 15. No, not you. You already tried. Uh, 15? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're able to hold on to her, and, uh, yeah. she's in your arms, still struggling. She's very excited about, um, yeah, so basically. Her nose in it, so she learns. Um, <laughs> yeah, I flick her nose. <laughs> no. Okay, so. All right, so about, you guys are going down the stairway, and, uh, there's some light. It's, it's, uh, it's probably... 80 feet down it's a it's a uh decently steep steep slope uh there's some light coming from the bottom and um about halfway down everyone make a 
dexterity save. Oh no. Okay. Potty got 10. Uh, 16. Uh, uh, 13. Aradia got. Twelve. Twelve for Praddy. Sorry, I'm pulling. I realized I didn't have a radius sheet up. Um, cool. I was so excited about getting hotties up that I forgot about hers. Uh, do, 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 do. She rolled an 11, and her dex is... Dex save. Come so... on. Come on. Oh, her dex save is... Is it still loading? Yes. Oh. Really having a moment. It's okay. We're doing it. Dex Sing that song that again. <laughs> Pardon me, Justin? <laughs> what is a dex save exactly? Is, is that just your modifier plus your roll, or is it different? Yeah, it's your modifier plus, uh, if you're proficient in it, it will uh, oh. add your proficiency. And usually every class has two saving throw proficiencies, although... I think monks at a certain, especially Cobalt Soul monks, become proficient in all the saves, which is pretty insane at some wow. point. Um, um, four, 14 for Aradia. Okay. So, Sarah, uh, the ground beneath you and all of you, the cobblestone stairs that you're walking down, all of a sudden animate and start moving almost like uh almost like a mudslide it, it's very fluid and sarah you're able to regain your footing as you see everyone in front of you just start <laughs> sliding down the stairs pretty quickly picking up Watch speed step. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah they're they're just way down there and um as soon as they just keep going and you see them at the bottom just kind of pile up and uh yeah, the stones come to a a standstill and kind of reform into stairs again. Uh, you can uh, catch up or just leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't leave us. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll carefully make my way down towards. Them. Okay, and um, th when you guys get down there, you see a eighty by sixty foot room, and in front of you are two hideous creatures mm. that uh one male one female and they're missing hair in spots and they've got uh growths on their body and they're coming together like they're in they're two separate beings but around their feet they're starting to come together almost like a zipper and just melding together viscously and turning into uh i will flash the picture of them it's a pretty nasty picture of this coven beast on the screen now you said it's a 60 by 80 80 by 60 and uh there's tables around and on the walls there's various artwork and tapestries uh okay putting it on the screen and they have a vertical it's a very tiny room <laughs> uh they have two heads now um and there's ch children's heads kind of in their torso area sticking oh. out and writhing um their arms almost reach the floor and uh vertical mouths with long uh tongues that reach down to about mid chest on this beast it's a large beast it's about 12 feet tall, and uh, it screams as you guys slide down there. Uh, roll initiative for me, everyone. Did you say there are one or two of these things? They've just melded into, there were two, and now there's one. Oh, okay. And um, are they along the longer or shorter wall? They're right in front of you in the middle, so they're on the longer. So you guys came down on the longer wall. Does that make okay, sense? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. 
Rolling initiative. Oh. Say That's it again, good. Justin. 19. Great. I'm a seven. Uh, Aradia is a 16. Prati is a 10. And Hottie is Hottie is 13. Okay. Sarah. I will update you guys on this initiative order if you want to keep track uh, as soon as I'm done writing it down. Guess I'm last. That's okay. Yeah, I have Justin, Aradia, Hottie, Dave, Richard. And then whenever the monsters. Monster. Monster, a single monster, sorry. Uh, but a twin spirit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, Sarah, Aradia, Hottie, Prodi, uh, Coven Beast, and Nihilus. Coven beast. Do we have to kill it? It's pretty <laughs> gross, and it just I screamed at you. I just keep on imagining Aunt Hilda and Aunt Zelda from Sabrina in the Nightmare episode. The you new one? I'm talking about? Ooh, yes. that's what I'm going to picture. <laughs> yes. The new one? Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen it. There is an episode that's truly horrific. It like, can't be truly, as... I have some weird body modification stuff, and it's... It's... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, it's not. I'm, uh, it's not good. I'm looking forward to seeing it because this art of this creature is pretty disgusting. Uh, so at the top of the round, the hag, when as I said earlier, the hag releases a just a shriek, just a, Aah! and um, every radio goes. Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, uh, Prati just like is really shaken up, and he just takes some of the perpetual gin, and he's just like. <laughs> Jesus, it was just like here it we is, here we go, guys. It is bone chilling and bone shaking so much so that you need to make a deck uh, a Constitution saving throw. Oh, oh. twenty one. Uh 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 uh. Um, Hottie is eleven. Karate's 11. Oh, yeah. Aradia's nat 20. Um, yeah, and so 22. Sarah? Uh, unnatural 20. So Prati and Hati, both of you are um, sh just physically roiled with the shriek, and you take... Um, seven thunder damage. Oh no. Uh, the rest of you take what? Oh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, I was gonna do half <laughs> damage, but I read it wrong. Um, okay, so Sarah, it is your turn. Okay, um, can you clarify one thing for me? Sure. Um, so I have a spell called Summon Lesser Demon. Ooh. And I think uh, I roll to see what kind of demons it, it would bring. But I'm not clear, like, would it attack us? Or is there a way to, like, have it only attack the enemy? What does it say? It's, it says um, the demons are hostile to everyone, including you. But there's a circle on the ground that encompasses your space, they can't cross or harm the circle or target anyone in it. So can I make the circle around the whole party? We'd um, probably have to stay limited. in the circle. Yeah. Yeah. We're... Do we so like, like that Hottie idea? and... I think the only problem is that Hottie and Aradia are hand-to-hand -hand combat, and so okay, they'd probably yeah. have to leave the circle. 
Okay, I will not do that. I am going to, uh, let's see, bestow curse. Let me see if that does anything. Let's see. Bestow curse does. Uh, Max to see how many is there. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm just going to cast, uh, uh, crap. Are they, are these guys humanoid? We don't know that yet. Let her radio touch them. Yeah, I'll touch it oh. and then we'll figure it out. She's okay. after you, so we'll know soon. I'm just going to go try and chew Dragon's Breath. So I cast uh, Dragon's Breath on myself. And then um, so I'm she do it with... Oh, yeah. Uh, she's in the middle of the room. And when she uh, stepped forward... Uh, so you're going to get closer. She's about... Let's see. You're right here. One, two, three. Um, you'd have to step about 10 feet closer to hit her. Okay, I do that. Okay. Uh, and uh, Dragon's Breath, hit me with your best shot. Yeah, so uh, 3d6... <laughs> um, is it... Uh, they make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. And I'm going to do, uh, I guess, poison damage. They made the save. Uh, oh, okay. Rolled a 19. Oh, wait, so it, it's half as much. So I got 10. So it does 5 of uh, poison damage. Okay. And then I'm done. All right. Uh, Aradia, it is your turn. This thing is in the middle. And to your left, on the northwest side of the room, there is a bubbling cauldron of pink liquid. And on the southeastern side of the room... There's another cauldron of pink liquid, and in the southwestern part of the room, there's a big oven that uh, there's dust and bones around it. Um, so you may surmise that uh, this is how they prepare the bodies of their victims. Um, a question, is there any way to like document this evidence? Like... I know there's no photos. Can we, like, I guess we I've can... just been drawing it. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, I'm so, so anything... far, I think this is this... what it looks <laughs> like. Okay. Yeah, the, we're the, <laughs> the cauldrons are northwest and southeast, yeah. And the oven is this in the southwest. No, it's not. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you're Did good. Did I do that right? Yeah, I okay. think so. Yeah. So you guys are on the west side. Okay, maybe once we kill her, we'll try to, like, take a body part so we can prove it to the guards. Sure. Uh, Aradia? <laughs> Love it. Okay, um, I am going to go ahead and attack um, with my quarter staff and Or, no, not with my quarter staff. I'm going to do an unarmed strike because I want to get ready for a flurry of blows. Um, uh, yes, okay, so doing that. Oh, no. Um, no. I know. <laughs> Let's see, six. Uh, so that is 13. To hit? To hit. Oh, yes. Uh, just barely misses as she pulls oh. her armor away. And Damn it. Uh, you have multiple attacks, I believe, though. Yes, I do. I do have two. So I'm going for another one. Let's go. She, she get as she like runs through and misses her. She um, turns back around. Aradia turns back around with her fists uh, ready to go again. And she, um, oh yes, okay, great. She got an uh, an unnatural twenty for that one. Perfect. That hits. Um and she takes six damage. Uh. Monster six. So uh, Aradia like hits her in the back of the head um, uh, with the palm of her hand, and then she go she winds up to do a uh, fury of blows for her bonus action. Um, uh, 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 she give you two uh, more. I think two more unarmed, unarmed strikes. Yes. So that is. It's electric. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, another unnatural 20. 
uh, for the Fury of Blows. And that goes seven. Um, so we spend one of my key points, and then I'm going to do uh, extract aspects. Okay. Um, and the three things that I want to learn are the... Okay, guys, I'm going to say out loud what I can learn, and if there's something that you really want to know, let me know. Uh, okay. Creature type, which I feel like we should probably know. Yes. Armor class, sense yes. saving throw modifier, um, damage vulnerabilities, yes. uh, damage resistance. Yes. I can only pick three, just to be oh. clear. <laughs> damage resistance. <laughs> Damage immunities or condition immunities. So my feeling is what we need to know. I think their armor class is 14. Um, uh, I want to know creature type for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Damage vulnerabilities and damage, res and damage resistances, I think, are the three. Yeah, I care about damage resistance. Okay, so it's an aberration. And uh, I like <laughs> I like how... <laughs> Nihilus was like, why are you even asking? Just do all of them. <laughs> He's like, and only two. <laughs> um, it's like, I get three. <laughs> uh, and you want, uh, what could you get? You could get resistances or immunities? Um, yeah, we could either do resistances or immunities uh, um, and vulnerabilities. So Should, I definitely want to know vulnerabilities. What? Go ahead. Because I was thinking, if we know resistance and immunities, then at least we know not to do those. And we well, could the, learn what their vulnerabilities are, right? I think if we know resistance, if we know the vulnerabilities, we can start. I mean, that's what killed the hair monsters so fast. Okay. I mean, was because we knew the what we should be doing. Okay, so let's I think do that. Definitely vulnerabilities. You're and the smart one. Ride. I'm just the pretty one. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I definitely want to know vulnerabilities. None. None. Ah. Shit. Oh. Great. Okay, so then, um, <laughs> so, no, that, I mean, I guess that's good to know. Um, <laughs> then I think we should probably know what the immunities are, so that way we don't do anything. Condition or damage? Um, it would be damage. What's a condition immunity? Like poison. So that would be like, uh, okay. Or, no. or stuff like that, like, like things that be paralyzed or whatever. Or yeah. Oh, okay. I think damage immunities, right? Yeah. I okay, mean, you're, it's your decision, uh, Aradia, anyways, uh, just because you're doing it. You um, how so smooth we are? Bludgeoning, <laughs> piercing, and slashing from non-magical weapons. Boo. Ooh. Bludgeoning, slashing. This is great to know for Hadi. Um, Did you say piercing as well? Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Shit, that's going to be hard. What's the point of Hottie? What is he even doing here? Um, <laughs> he, that's okay. he says. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, what am I even doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So that's the end for Aradia's turn, um, which means that it is now Hottie's turn. There um, is a like, there is a spell that casts magic weapon on any non magical weapons that I don't know if any of you have, but that could have been a, a reason why he was there. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Hottie's turn. Hmm. All right, and Hottie goes. Oh, okay. Well, this is really. I'm going to have to rejigger a few things. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. 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 He doesn't have any of those three. Oh no! So like most of his, most of what he does is bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. So that's why I'm like, okay, uh, what do I do? Knowing that he, um, knowing that they're immune to those things. Well, resistant. So he can still damage them. Yes. Immune. You asked um, for immunities. Oh, that was I immunities. Asked for immunities. Yeah, um, I asked for immunities because I thought it was more important to know that one, and it was. Um, so there are those cauldrons in the room. There are there's. Um, oh yeah, what if he yeah, tries to like destroy the, the cauldrons or use them oh. or something? Yeah, I and I was actually the thinking the oven. Throw it on them. <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. I was thinking oven. He should try and destroy the oven, unless we're gonna try and. Um, cook them at some point let's just destroy this building <laughs> i think Great i wonder idea. i feel like they have 
because it's like a cult and they have like i feel like there's they have a source of power somewhere so i don't know if that's the cauldron or the oven or what but i wonder if the cauldron like if you knocked it over and spilled whatever's inside it would like melt. yeah i think um he is going to uh can he go over and check and see what the cauldrons it like can he i don't think he can sense any of that shit um what's his intelligence his intelligence is i think it's pretty high passive intelligent passive Ooh. intelligence is 12 um and his regular intelligence is 14 yeah i mean that's pretty good uh and is he okay, he's proficient gonna go over and... is he proficient in any arcana or anything like that um i'm not seeing no he's not Ooh, this sheet's a little yeah. no he's okay. not uh okay so let's just see if he knows. Does he have a general idea? So which one do you want him to go to? The north, uh, west, or southeast? The south. Okay. Southeast, please. Make, have him use his action to make a uh, general intelligence check. Great. Ooh, not great. It's an eight. Uh, Radio, I don't know what this is, but um, it's a. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's unfinished because it's still bubbling and roiling and jumping around. Uh, I'm going to have Hottie spit into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that happen as a bonus action, I guess. Bonus action, um, yeah, that was my hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he spits in it and uh, it, it just kind of goes boop, just uh Bubbles up a little bit more, a little bit higher, but nothing gets on him or out of the uh, substance. Uh, so that's his turn, unless he has more movement. He used about... Uh, nope. uh, yeah, he's probably done on the movement. So it's his turn. Yep. Prodi, you are next. Ooh, it's my turn. Uh, can I get a... Uh... Just, I want to find out where these cauldrons are again. You said northwest, southwest, southeast. Oven is... southeast. Southeast. Oven is southwest. Got it. So we are we're closer to the oven than we are to the cauldrons. Yeah, we're on the south side. You uh, no, uh, you guys oh. came in on the west side, and um... Aradia is now in the middle of the room. Sarah's a little bit behind her in the middle of the room. So the oven and the North uh, West Cauldron are equidistant. Okay. I'm just gonna. Dun, 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 dun. That's the action <laughs> music. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I'm gonna try a Eldritch Blast. Do it. Fourteen. Let's see. Uh... 15. Yep, that'll hit. Sweet. And guys, uh, if you can roll your damage and while you attack at the same time, that might save a little time. Uh, just roll both die. Great. 5 and 4. D uh, so... So yeah, two, 2 beams. Right, and so the first attack was a 15, and what was the second attack? You have to roll attacks for both of them because they're separate. Uh, one okay two. so five damage for the first one yeah okay and then as a bonus action i want to uh do healing light on myself okay go ahead and uh so two what do you what color <laughs> what color are your eldritch blasts are they like purple Ooh, it matters hmm my Eldritch Blast? Yeah, you what color? No, what? you pick what color. I can pick black. Okay, so you see these lightless voids shooting at the beast, and one of them hits the back wall. And now that your, your attention is drawn to that back wall, and uh, you see that the walls are decorated with various things, that wall that was hit by the stray Eldritch Blast has 
what you think are hags. They're just very uh, hideous men and women, uh, just growths all over them, hair growing in weird places, uh, in a infernal scene in, in what you might think is the nine hells of some specificity. And they're ruling over demons and devils. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just... Wait, is this a painting or is this... It's paintings and tapestries. Okay. So that's that wall. And then... So that's the east wall? Correct. And it is now the Coven Beast's turn. And she is going to... She's going to attack Aradia because she was very surprised by those flurry <laughs> of fists coming at her. Uh, and, okay. Her claws come at you and swing past your head because uh, I don't think a 13 hits, does it? You are correct. It does not. And... I'm just going to do it again. 23. Yeah, that hits. And then uh, where's my 12? There it is. Come on, dice tray. It's going to be 16 slashing damage as she rakes you with her hideous... Disgusting claws. Jesus Christ. Um, can I react to that? Sure. What or do you... is that? Okay. I want to do a slow fall. Oh, no. I guess I can't because I'm not really falling. No. So, um... uh, and we're not using a ranged weapon attack. Okay. So it's just 16. Yep. Okay. Um, if anybody and... wants to heal me, I don't 100% need it now, but I will accept it. <laughs> you got it. So you guys see this beast swing down on a radio. She misses the first one, but the one that hit did a good amount of damage, was pretty powerful. You healers. No. I'm telling you healers specifically. Um, and uh, she's going to move... Kind of in between Aradia and Sarah now. Oh no. So she's still within five feet of you, so you don't get an uh, opportunity attack, Aradia. Uh, but she's within five feet of Sarah now as well. And I've been forgetting to do um, legendary actions, so you're welcome. But. Uh, Legendary action. <laughs> Nihilus, it's your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna. Okay, I, I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost. Um, so I'm gonna roll for that. Uh, ooh, I got a twenty-four. So Sarah's right in front of you. Um, is that gonna affect him? It's right in front. I oh, I guess I wrote it differently. Can I like? move so that she's not right in front yeah you can move south and kind of uh yeah okay then move. that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move so that i'm not hitting sarah and that's a cone we attack do, correct we do the thing where like i lean left you lean right and I'm like, <laughs> yeah um i think it's just a straight shot okay um yeah it's just a beam okay uh how far away do you want to be do you want to be against the wall or do you want to um, well, since I'm moving, so I'm moving towards the south to get away, so there's looking more like that, and I can hit it like that. I guess I'll be on the southwest west side, not, like, specifically in the corner, but, like, toward the corner, because I don't want to, like, be boxed in. Okay. Do you want to be within five feet of the wall, or do you want to be closer to the beast, or what? Uh, I'll be within, um, ten feet, because how close would that get me to the beast? Uh, within 10 feet of the wall? Yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15 feet of the beast. 
Okay, well, since I do this, it does slow the beast's movement by 15 feet. Okay. So it won't be able to, like, get... Oh, no, sorry, 10 feet. So Until the start of my next turn. You said it was an attack or a save I need to do? Uh, no, it's just I have to make a spell attack. So now I'm going to roll my, my damage, which is 2d8, and that's 11. Total. What was your attack, though? Uh, 24. Oh, perfect, yeah. 11 total. Uh, uh, yeah, for damage. Okay. And then I'm going to do a bonus action to conjure up a um, spiritual weapon. Okay. Oh. Yeah. What's your spiritual weapon look like? Um, I'm going to make it a triton. A trident? Uh, triton? The, uh... Trident? Trident? <laughs> okay. Trident, yes. <laughs> trident gum? And, it's, and, it's, and it's, it's magical, so it, it doesn't... Uh, it's, the beast isn't immune to it. Yep. And uh, I assume that's your turn? Yeah, that's going to be it for me. Okay. And that brings us to the top of the round. Initiative count 20 layer actions happen. What? And uh, when that happens, the door that you came down slams down a stone door blocking you off from the stairs. And that back wall, which Prodi and Nihilus are within 10 feet of. Um, so you see a similar scene to the wall I previously, previously described, except it's not in the Hells. It's in uh, Inista, actually. So it's hags in their true form, uh, torturing citizens and children of Inista. And the tapestries and the paintings themselves reach out for those of you close Ew. enough, which is Prodi and Nihilus. That's going to be a lair action. They can reach out 10 feet. Jesus. Yeah. Make a dexterity saving throw, Nihilus and Prodi. Um, that's going to be an 11. No, sorry, 12 for me. Okay. Unnatural 20. Ooh. Okay, so it reaches out for you, Prodi, and maybe it's your height, your stature that uh, <laughs> allows you to dodge it, but you kind of... I knew of it'd come in handy. <laughs> duck out of the way, but uh, Nihilus, you're a little distracted from, from uh, um, casting your spell, and this, this gray hag, completely gray hair, gray-skinned, uh, it's got pustules all over her skin, kind of oozing, reaches out and grabs you, and now you are grappled. I say, no touch, no touch. And she touches <laughs> you anyway and grapples you. <laughs> and uh, now your speed is zero. Uh, you must use your action to try and get out of the uh, grapple um, if you would like. Okay. Uh, I mean, this doesn't hurt me. It's just like not yet. place. Uh, it could, it may not. Okay. Um, you don't know, so um, that's the lair action, and we're back we're to the traumatized. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, I mean, it's I'm your just turn. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, my turn. Um, is how close am I to the nearest cauldron? Ooh, actually, I forgot. Hottie gets affected that by that too. Wow. Roll for Hottie, dexterity oh, save. So I think he has advantage on those because he has danger he sense. Does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, glad that he has advantage on that because that <laughs> roll was good. Um, oh, nat 20. Yeah, he's like, get off me, and he punches one of the paintings in the face. Um, Sarah, it's your turn. Oh, cool. How close am I to the nearest cauldron? Like, I, think I think you're pretty... Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You're, clo you're like 25 feet away from the northwest cauldron. But you're okay. within 5 feet of the coven beast. So it has opportunity attack on you. And so if I wanted to investigate the cauldron to find out what what's in it... Um, You'd have to use your action. action right? Yeah. Okay. Do we guys? I, so I'm thinking of maybe moving there and looking into it. I have advantage on identifying potions, but do we think that's 
worth it or should I just attack her? I don't know. I mean, you should make the decision for yourself. Like, uh, okay. I, like I'm going to try to um, be a little more strict on on what you can okay. and can't discuss in the middle of a battle. Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to walk to the, the Northwest Cauldron. Okay. And I'm going to... What if I should... Maybe I'll just try to spill it. Like, I don't really care what's in it. I just probably feel like I don't want them to have it. So, can I just use my... <laughs> I want to try to, like, tip it in the direction of the hags, or the monster. So, like, it hopefully will spill and get on them, and not on my feet. Okay. Uh, so as you're walking spin. away, the coven beast swings at you with a claw. Okay. And, uh, and which cauldron are you going to, Justin? The, the northwest. The northwest. northwest. Okay, and also run, don't walk. Come on, Sarah. It's going to yeah, be a I 14 do. to hit. <laughs> okay, that hits. Uh, okay. It's going to be 11. Check that. 14 slashing damage Jesus. as you're walking okay. away. Great. And she screams at you hmm? with her beautiful voice, which sounds a little like. <laughs> and then, uh, You're too good at that. Cauldron. Okay, and make a strength uh, check. Okay. Okay. You just want to uh, spill it, right? You're not identif You're not using your action to identify anything. No, I'm okay. just spilling it. Uh, Fifteen. Yep. You uh, go over there. And uh, knock it over. Now make a D100 roll for me. That's oh both of the saucers. Oh I'm not going to turn into a chicken. Is this where it happens? So, so <laughs> if you don't have a percentile dice and you're just using two D10s, uh, roll one to signify the tens column. And I have, um, so I have this one. It has like, a 40, yeah. an 80. Yeah, that's fine. Then you can just roll them together, the D10 and that one. Okay. And a D10 I have here. Okay, great. So I'm going to roll them. Okay, I got a 10 and a 4. So is that 14 then? Yep. Okay, so that's really good, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. As it spills <laughs> out, this... It's a pink liquid, but upon touching the floor... Uh, it turns into this bright green, not dissimilar from from uh, Siren's uh, fur color, and you are now that area. There's a confusion spell cast on that area, and um, now am I? Because I I was trying to not get it towards my feet. Am it's I, it's on that... that area, so it's like an area effect. So it's you. Okay. You're pretty much well. You're definitely in it. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm but that that was your action. Um, so let me see. If you want to do... So you can't take reactions, and you roll a d10 at the start of each of your turns. Um, and based on what you roll, will determine what, ha what happens. You may be able to act... Uh, as you as you want, but uh, it depends on your role. But right now, Sarah okay. feels almost drunk and high, and oh no, um, she's probably saying weird things, doesn't know where she is, stuff like that. So, uh, it is now a radius so turn. If we can like push the creature into that, it would also get confused. Possibly. Okay. Do it. Um, Aradia is going to... Oh, make a wisdom saving throw. I'm sorry, Justin. I knew I was forgetting something. Um, okay, so that's a 20. Um, oh. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, it's not um, old, Sarah. And I'm proficient in that, so that's uh 20. Yeah, you're actually, you start feeling drunk and high, and you're actually fine, so um, oh. uh, you shrug off the effects. Okay, great. You're That's good. you're a lush. 
Possibly. Love it. A, a radius <laughs> turn. Um, Aradia is going to use. I'm just making sure that this makes sense. Oh, where is it on my sheet? This is driving me crazy. I want to use fairy fire. Um, features and traits under racial. Thank you. Abilities. Thank you. Possibly. Appreciate Justin, it. when when you knock it over and you see it change, like that, Sarah thinks it gives you a feeling of wild magic. Um, kind of an uncontrolled, unfinished feeling um, that maybe you've experienced in your travels in the forest. So that's it. That's it. Okay. I'm too worried about the range of fairy fire, so I'm not going to do that. Um, what do you mean instead, the range? I can't find where the like how uh, how far out it would spread. It, and we're in an enclosed area. Okay. Uh, I think you'll be... I mean, it doesn't say what the range is, so... Yeah, I it's, sent, it's... It's, it's like an area, and then people make a deck save, I believe, but I'm just going to look for you because I think Aradia would know what Fairy Fire does since it's something she's probably known for most of her life. Yeah. Um, regardless of not being a magic user, it's a racial ability so um yeah each object in a 20 foot cube within range is outlined in blue or green your choice uh any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails a dex throw uh, saving throw um for the duration objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 20 foot radius any attack no, it's not worth it for me okay um I don't think anyone's in that range. No, it's okay. Because um, I don't want to... Yeah, and also the other thing is that then I would have to do... dark Anyway, there's like a whole thing. Um, I don't want to do it. So let's go ahead and we're going to try Unarmed Strike once again. Um, uh, to the Coven Monster. Coven Beast. <clears throat> oh, dang. That one's not good. That was two. Um... So that one misses. She's going in for the headbutt. Oh, nice. Um, 22. And she got nine damage. Okay. Um, and then for her bonus action. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
16 to hit. Does okay, 16... definitely could use healing. Does 16 hit? Who? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so now make Just a hit. constitution saving throw. Uh, nope, seven. You take seven poison damage as you start retching and, and your stomach contracts trying to rid itself of this poison, and uh, you're poisoned until the end of your next turn. Okay. All right. Does Hottie have any potions or anything? Hottie's turn. What was that? I was just saying, if Hottie has any, like, potions or anything, he can, like, try to help you out. No. no. He's not living that life, but thank you. Um, okay, so let's see. For Hottie, even though I know that it's not going to... Um, I'm going to have him attack the stove. Okay, so he's going to run over uh, to the stove. 5, 10, 15, 20. What's his movement? Uh-huh, to the oven, yep. Um, his could he movement... use an action to try to get me out of the wall? <laughs> uh, he could. He can do forty feet of walking movement. Yeah, he can yeah. make it uh, to the oven. Or to I don't Nihilus. know that he can make it to. Oh, really? Okay, then. Um, yeah, he'll get uh, Nihilus. That works. Yeah. So have him make. <laughs> have him make a athletics check. Athletics check. Athletics check. Oh, yeah, he's... Okay, cool. Um, he got a 7, but he's plus 8, so... Uh, 15. What is that? 15. So he, he gets close, but he can't seem to get you out of it, Aww. just barely. And um, I'm sorry, I am trying, but I can't seem to get these wretches away from you. It's okay, I have small arms, you can't reach me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's his action and his movement and does he have a bonus action he wants to use or no yes he's gonna do um uh rage he's gonna cast rage on himself keep in mind if he doesn't oh. take damage or do damage on something every turn essentially uh, uh -huh. it goes away but i think that's okay i would rather just have it there for okay the yeah sure check and and for uh you know having damage and stuff uh okay exactly. so he rages he gets real upset that he can't break you away from this painting and uh it is Prodi's turn okay i'm doing elders blast again and i already rolled and i got oh, uh, I miss i miss with the first and then uh cuz i rolled a 2 and uh then i rolled a 17 with my modifier that's 20 22 um, for the hit, and now I'm rolling the damage. So it's five plus two, so seven. Okay. Seven damage. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to... Um, well, here, I have a question. Can I can I just give Aradia my healing potion? Can I, like, hand it to her? Uh, you'd have to go up to her, which is next to the monster. Right. Okay, I'll just... I'll, I'll do healing light. Um... But okay. it's good to know that I can hand the healing potion because that, that would be like a last resort thing. And, uh... Go ahead. So as a bonus action, healing light... Up, up, up. I think... Is that a pool a, or is, do you roll for anything? Yeah, it's a... It's a it's a pool of D6s. Oh, okay. So, and I've got, I've got a bunch left, but yeah, I, I rolled it on myself last turn and I rolled a one. Bummer. Four. Heal four. Yay. Better than nothing. Okay. It is now the Coven I'll Beast's turn. Um, so Hottie's over here. Yeah, I've got four of those left, so I'll keep using them. It's going to walk up to you, Prodi, near the front of the western wall. It can reach him with its slowdown of 10 feet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's a large creature, so it has extra long reach. Um, and it is going to... Let me look this one up. They don't like it when you help and heal others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bet they don't. It's... You More little... time between uh, <laughs> throwing us all in the cauldron. You little <laughs> fucking bird. <laughs> I'm a I didn't know that I'm a... Nihilus was the hag. I'm That's crazy. Coo. I'm gonna turn you. I'm gonna turn you into a fucking pigeon. Oh no! He's gonna. He's gonna Can try you to talk to my friend like that. You big shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna... nothing wrong with pigeons. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's gonna try to polymorph you. No. <laughs> Into a pigeon. <laughs> um. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. First, so I have <laughs> I have uh, like reaction spells, so. I'm gonna cast a uh, counter spell. Hell yeah! Ooh! Yeah, do it. I have to look it up because I never use it. <laughs> so, so um, how it works is, if it's a spell th third level or below, it automatically fails. The person casting it, it fails. It fizzles out. And if it's above that, then you make a, uh, essentially a, an ability check with your spell casting modifier, which is charisma. And um, it has to beat a certain difficulty check to dis to uh, get rid of to counterspell it essentially. So roll a d20 and then add just your charisma modifier. So it's just your charisma modifier, not anything On else. On a saving throw or no? Just, just so like, what's your charisma? What's your charisma? What did I just roll? No, what's your charisma? Plus two. Okay, so add two to the die you rolled. Eight. So unfortunately, you start casting this spell to nullify her effect, and it doesn't work. So go ahead and mark off one of your spell slots for that. Because um, you're... What's, what are your um, warlock slots cast at right now? third level okay okay that's fine um so that didn't work but go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw damn, damn. eight so phew, you see proddy four foot tall proddy uh what color was your f feathers black black turn into this mottled gray feathers missing places it's got like a, a bigger left wing than its tiny right wing and i have wings guys i have wings <laughs> all you hear is kr, kr, and it's just <laughs> in front of her now and so uh, the telepathy doesn't work anymore uh no, you're you have the um the features of a pigeon, I believe, like you, the intelligence and all that. Oh wow! Oh, so I'm just oh. like completely taken out of this combat. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Um, and unless you know, so if you read the spell, uh, it says uh, target assumes new hit points, mental ability scores of the new form. Um, Uh, it can't speak, cast spells, or take any other actions that require hands or speech. Um, your gear melds into the new form, but uh, you turn back into yourself if it, if you get if that creature takes all of its damage. So if if you so if it dies, <laughs> if the creature dies, but then you turn back into yourself, and so any damage over the creature's hit point pool transfers over but like you don't automatically die if like a pigeon if hottie came and smashed the pigeon that doesn't mean proddy would automatically die the pigeon would oh, no longer I thought you meant the monster the creature 
No, I'm talking okay. about Proddy the Pigeon. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So he has two health pools now. He's got what he had before, and he's got Pigeon Health Pool. Which is what? Cool. It is. So we got a... Or the Pigeon would have to die, and anything over its max HP would transfer to yeah. Proddy. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool. You could suicide bomber, like just like... <laughs> just go ahead and look up uh, Raven uh, in Monsters on D and D Beyond, Prodi. And okay. that is her turn. Aradia, nope. No, uh, it's my turn. Yeah, it's Nihilus's nope. turn. So I'm gonna try to get out of this wall. What um, what am I checking? You can again? make a acrobatics or athletics check. To use your action to get out of it. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll do it against acrobatics. Okay. Uh, nineteen. There you go. You, you, Hottie's trying to help you, and maybe he uh, helped a little bit. You're able to sque- squeeze through. Uh, maybe your Triton skin releases some sort of watery mucus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, and uh, you get out of the grapple. So that's your action. Do you have any movement or? Um, okay, so the creature is in which area right now? So he's within 10 feet of the wall that you guys entered at, of the western wall. By Prati, which is a pigeon. Oh, just, just in the center? He's Yeah, kind of center left, center, center west. Okay. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to move towards the uh, east side. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to... S- Wait, hold on. Before I do all that. Um, oh, okay. I don't think my... God damn it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to send my spiritual weapon over to toward the uh, the creature... And you cast it by your like next to you when you cast it. Uh, I did. Okay. So yeah. So I'm. Go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna send it over, and can I uh, attack it? it? Yeah. Can only move. Okay, cool. Twenty feet. Um, so it'll I'm make it. That. Um, and then I do one d eight plus three of damage. Uh, so that's ten. Okay. And then um, I'll go ahead and move over to the east side of the wall, okay, but, so, like, away from the wall so I don't get grabbed sure. this time. Uh, so you're kind of close to the cauldron then, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, okay. And... Yeah, spiritual <laughs> weapon is a good one. Um, it's going to use a legendary action... To cast Ray of Sickness on Haughty. Thirteen to hit. Does that hit Haughty? Um, that does not. Okay. And uh, that's a legendary action. Gets those at the end of the round. And we're back to the top for a lair action. And the oven starts... Uh, kind of starts up... Have you guys seen The Brave Little Toaster? I don't know why this came to my, <laughs> came to my mind. Yeah. Remember the furnace? And, like... Oh yeah, it would creepy. it would kind of animate, and so this furnace starts doing that and starts spewing smoke out everywhere. So now um, the area is now considered obscured. The the whole room, or yeah, okay, because uh, of the smoke, you said yeah. I'm just double checking everything it does. I just want to make sure I get it right. (laughs) 
So every everything's heavily obscured. It's essentially an uh, kind of an opaque fog. It's extremely hard. You can barely see in front of you. Um, and uh, yeah, the the glowing torches on the walls are just emitting, still emitting light, but everything is very difficult to see. You don't see anyone. You don't see the coven beast anymore. Uh, so essentially it's, it's the, uh, same condition as blinded, uh, which is a, uh, attack rolls against any creature have, uh, disadvantage and, um, yeah, any, any ability check that requires sight, uh, automatically fails. All right. So it's is now Sarah's turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Uh, am I am I within fifteen feet of the monster? No, you I'm are. Get... Oh, okay. 15, 20, 20. You're twenty five feet away. You're still within the the essence of the cauldron magic. Can I? So I want to walk away from the cauldron and towards the creature okay. uh, without, you know, as, as far, at least 15 feet from the creature, if I can keep that distance. Yeah. Uh, 5, 10, 15. So, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Okay, great. I'm going to go there and then um, and then do dragon's breath uh, on the creature. So I already cast it, so I just uh, open my mouth and breathe poison. Okay. Them. And I... Um, so am I, am I, I, I don't know if I'm blinded or not. I, I kind of remember where she was standing. So can I just. Is, it's an attack. It's like an attack it's roll. A cone. No, but it's is a it a. Cone, uh, no, dexterity saving throw. Okay. So it's an area, which means uh, anything in that area would, would uh, be affected by it. So you don't really need. Um, you're just directing it. You, you're not attacking a specific person, so it's not going to be a disadvantage because okay. uh, you're not... Well, that's a natural one. Yay! <laughs> Take that, uh, so foul I already, creature. I already rolled. I got a, a 13. Cool. So, um, yeah, 13 uh, poison damage. Uh, oh, hold on. I gotta roll again because she has advantage on magical saving throws. Oh, how about another one? Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. The odds. The odds are less than one percent, if I remember correctly. Ah. Uh, so, Sarah, that is your turn, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Aradia, you are poisoned. Woohoo! What would you like to do? Um, she's going to cast Fairy Fire now in the direction of where the... Um... Hag last was? Were? Yeah. Is it was or yeah. where? Where she last was. Where well, she it's last a was. one entity now, right? So it's a was. Yeah. Thank you. Done. Um, okay. So she is casting that. Uh, it doesn't say anything about, like, what I need to roll. It's a deck for save that. for that area. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. So she got a nine. I don't know what modifiers they're supposed to be for that. Um, so deck save means that she rolls for it, and I just rolled for oh, okay. it, and so she got a thirteen. What's the DC? The dif the uh, DC she has to beat. Here's the problem: is like I don't see any of that. It, it's the same as your it should be the same as your um cuz it just has cantrip and it, then it should be the same as your monk dc let me look uh, 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 uh. yeah under where it says like casting time and all that it doesn't say attack slash, uh, slash save Attack save is when you click fairy fire under your racial traits. It says uh -huh. components, uh, duration. Saves. Yeah. So she saves just barely. 
Um, but everything in that area kind of lights. So what color do you, is your fairy fire? Um, it lights what? Sorry, you cut out. Everything in that area lights up. And uh, uh, what color does it light up with? What color is your fairy fire, Aradia? It is green. So you guys see this faint glow. Uh, Prodi, make a deck save for the... For yourself. Oh, it's white. I forgot I said it already. It's white. Or okay. it, it's, uh, it's purple. It's purple. Okay, purple. Do you have the raven's abilities? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it really... Oh, yeah, it does. I do have a little dex bonus. Seven. <laughs> so you get <Okay>. hit. <laughs> yeah, so Yay. bird lights up. <laughs> There's still... Everything's heavily obscured, so it's... A, Difficult to see. It just kind of looks like a faint glow in the uh, smoke and fog. So that is a radius turn, I believe. Do you have any anything else you'd like to do? So um, what happened? Has... What happens to the raven? It's just it's glowing we now. See where you are. That's all. Oh, it's, got it. See okay. where you are. Yeah. Um. Uh. Well, she has two uh attacks per yep. action. Oh no, but that wasn't it. That was just an action and of itself. Um, Why don't you go so over to she... Prati and punch him? <laughs> um, you know what? I think that's it for Aradia. Let's move on to Hottie. Okay. Um, so he is going to go and attack the oven. Okay. And he's right by it already, so... Mm-hmm. So he is going to take his, um, uh, he's going to take his horns. Um, oh, now I'm so worried about if I have him do that. <laughs> um, no, well, that's causing smoke, I want bludgeoning. So he should at least turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to smash it. He's going to smash it with um, uh, uh, an unarmed strike. Okay. Okay, so let's see. That is. So it's just bludgeoning. It doesn't say to roll. Is that supposed to be 1d6? Do you see his uh, sheet? It says hit plus 8, 6 bludgeoning. Yeah, but there's no like 1d6. It doesn't matter. He got, let's see. Yeah, because it's 1 uh... plus your strength. So his strength is. His strength. Uh modifiers plus five so it's six okay great so he rolled a 14 okay uh hit the oven it hits the oven but it's made of stone and mortar so it doesn't do much damage at all that you can tell um great what a what a fun thing i just did um but you think like using his his glaive would might fare better next time. Be helpful. Yeah. Right. Uh, cool. Is this Prodi's turn as the polymorphed creature? Where's like, um, well, yeah, like where's the safest place in the room? I mean, I can fly fifty feet. Where's the safest place in the room that a raven would think? Like, is there some place I can just fly up to and just perch myself? Like on the maybe the southwest or the south wall or something? There's a table over there. On the south wall? Yeah. Sure. I go I fly I fly over and land on the table. Okay. I would attack, but my attack is so weak and it's piercing, so well, they, have you, they have resistance you to that, right? Die so you can be yourself again? That's like so deep. I feel like that's like... <laughs> <laughs> that's like my life motto. <laughs> Don't you want to die so you can be yourself Die and yeah. be reborn. I guess, is there any way to kill myself with my action, though? I don't... Well, um... I mean, you flying... A... Well, the creature doesn't want to kill you, so it's probably not going to attack you. And you have to keep in mind, what's your intelligence? Uh, two. Do you think Ooh. it would... 
No. Yeah. I don't Right, think, like I think it wants yeah. to live. Yeah, so I yeah, I'm We'll I guess kill I'm just... you if you want. Do you want to? Know... Yeah, kill me. <laughs> I, you could, um, I have... My uh, my hit points is just one. All you have to do is do one damage to me, and I'm dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. I'm next. Okay. Uh, so that's your turn, and it is now the. Oh fuck! I've been forgetting lair actions. I don't feel like you've been forgetting them. We were getting them at the end of every. Yeah. No, I can do it up at the end of every single oh. person's turn. Oh, wow. I have like a pool of points I can draw from. Okay. <laughs> Why did we walk into this trap? <laughs> <laughs> I know. We should have just gone into the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, it's going to, oh shit. It's going to turn around and go after Sarah for spewing breath. Spewing hot, nice breath. It's going to claw attack. Am I, am I near a wall though? No, you're in the middle of the room. Oh, so what's attacking me? The Coven Beast. Oh, oh, I thought this was a lair. Okay, yeah. No, this is a legendary action. Legendary. Oh, okay. Fucking A, Jake. Uh, roll better. Um, no, don't. <laughs> 13 to hit. 13 to hit. Does that hit? So I have exactly 13 with my major. Yeah, that hits. Okay. So it's going to be 18 damage of slashing damage across your face. She screams at you for acid or poisoning. I forget which what you did, but um, uh, yeah, so 18 damage. Okay, I'm unconscious. Okay, so oh God. you guys see Sarah get whacked with these giant disgusting claws that probably have E. coli on them and other things. Um, and uh, she hits the ground and she is bleeding out before your eyes. Uh, but actually, you guys can't see that because um, of... Dark vision. Oh. Yeah, so I'll do it again. Uh, she uh, is going to roll at disadvantage. Hold on, wait. Can't a radius still see? You're uh, poisoned. Were I you thought it ended your... at the end of her turn. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, you guys have got a... Uh, you can't see. It's uh, Everything's obscured. Does that so make not, sense? It's not it's not darkness, it's like a fog. So even if you have night vision, okay. you still can't see. Yeah. That, right? And yeah. so that's why I'm rolling again yeah. because she has disadvantage as well. Got it. And it still hits uh um Can uh, I use a free action to, to twitch wildly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your body's in shock. Uh, so none of you could actually see it happen, but you heard Sarah maybe go, Oh no, and then hit the ground. Uh, In my next life, I'll I'm be. I'm sorry, prettier. Sarah. You're here. Could you please do that? Can I have your line read? Like, oh, <laughs> Valhalla, I'm coming. Make me pretty again. <laughs> Radio yells. You've always been pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Did I say that was a legendary action? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So she's going to turn and do her action now. Which is going to be... She's going to ray of sickness... Again, at 60 feet. Mm -hmm. 
at Nihilus. No. And I use dis dexterity? No, it's uh, oh. an attack. At disadvantage. Um, b -b 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 Why do I always lose track of this? Um... Fourteen to hit. I am fourteen, so I guess it hits. Okay. It's gonna be s uh, ten. Check that six damage, uh, poison damage, and you need to make a Constitution saving throw. So you said six damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Six. So you are now poisoned until the end of your next turn. Yay. Uh, and that is her turn. So it's my turn. Yes. Okay. Um, so I have a question about this smoke. Um, would you classify it as like a gas or a vapor or anything like that? That like yeah, it's it's I a yeah, it's like a sm yeah, sure. Okay, then I'm gonna cast Gust of Wind there so you I can go. clear this room. Hell yeah! Um, so it, there's a bit of a downside to it, um, which is basically it can hit anyone <laughs> within uh, the range that I'm shooting it at. Uh, so it's um, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide from any direction that I choose. Uh, so what I want to do, since I'm kind of like in the southeast corner, I will just shoot it straight towards the northwest corner. Mm -hmm. So diagonal. Yes. Um, and so anyone in the line of sight, uh, or sorry, in the line of that, has to do a strength of uh, a strength check, uh, can, save throw. Can play. Sarah's corpse just kind of roll over a few times? <laughs> so uh, what what save? I'm sorry. Strength check. It's a strength saving throw. Okay. You have to beat 14. Uh, yes. She, the Coven Beast, does do it. I believe um, it's a 10 foot wide. wide uh, you said 10 foot wide effect? Yes. Yes. Um, who is anyone else in the line of that? Since I'm blind, I don't know. Aradia. Is Prady, Prady on the table? Yeah, or... you're not affected by it, I don't think. Aradia and Sarah. Sarah's <laughs> Sarah's a little bit out of it, I think, but Aradia would be. She fails. Okay, you get pushed 15 feet back. So Woo! towards the corner. <laughs> Um, but anyone who's in the line of it, uh, they have to spend two feet for every foot they move. So, yeah, their speed is halved then, correct? Yes. Okay. How, and it lasts for how long? Uh, till I don't want it to, for a minute. Okay. Okay. Um, even if they made the save, still the same thing? Yeah, because they're just protecting themselves from, like, being pushed by the wind, basically. Okay. And we'll start at the top of the round. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so now I can see the beast. That's correct? Sure. Okay. She can see um, you. Hmm. I'm trying to decide. Okay, so is uh, Sarah looking... I mean, not Sarah. Um, is Sarah down? Yep. Or, like, what's going on with her? So she's bloodied. You can't Would see I... her. You can't see her. Oh, because she's not in the line of it, so I still don't know anything's going on. Yep. What about a radia? Is she is she looking really bad? Um, uh, or... not really bad, but I, Sarah's. I think more the priority. Well, I don't know anything about Sarah right now, so I'm only looking at you. Um. Okay. okay. I mean, I'll totally take help. <laughs> okay, can I run up to her and do a cure wounds on her? Oh no, wait, I just cast, I can't do that. Um I only have a bonus action. Um then I'm gonna go ahead uh and take my sword or sorry, my trident and um 
take another swing at the at the beast. Okay. Does anyone want to kill me? <laughs> I can't see you, so I don't. Oh, know got it. Got it. <laughs> Don't want that. Oh, I did want that. Okay, so I take another swing, and uh, it's one d eight. What? It, what was the attack? Oh, sorry. Uh, eighteen plus six, twenty-four. Yep. Um, it's a ten again. Okay. And I guess I will end my turn there. Okay. And we'll take a five-minute break right now because I have to use the restroom. And we'll be back and start at the top of the round. All right, we're back. Let's do it. Uh, top of the round, lair action. The smoke and fog obscuring, heavily obscuring the area dissipates magically back into the oven, breathes it in. Brave little toaster, furnace style, and uh, the cauldron, singular, starts bubbling on the southeastern side and spews its contents within a 15-foot cube, which Nihilus is currently in. So roll on a roll a d100. Wait, but if it's in if it's in the corner and I'm not 15 feet within the walls, wouldn't I not? You said you used your movement to uh, go 30 feet, which would put you within 15 feet of the edge of the cauldron. So the cauldron but is- I said I wanted to be 15 feet away from the walls. And that would so put that you, and that would put you, that would put you within okay. its range. Okay. Okay, so what's going on with me? Roll a d100. You're not getting grabbed, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, that is 80. Uh, hold on a second. So, straight 80? Yep. Oh my gosh, is Justin's house on fire? <laughs> I think that's a fire alarm. <laughs> the oh oven no. has spilled over into real life. <laughs> oh no. So, out of the cauldron starts spewing butterflies and flower petals flutter in the air within 10 feet of you for oh. the next minute. So ah. so now that everyone can see, Ooh. you see Nihilus, <laughs> essentially these butterflies and flower petals just showering him in a glorious, glorious display of pageantry. And I, and I, and I bow my head and I say, namaste. And uh, <laughs> even the... Uh, Coven Beast is uh, a little impressed. So enthralled by my beauty, yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. So that's <laughs> that's. I love the wild magic surge table. It's ridiculous. Um, Sarah, it is your turn. Make a death save. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where'd it go? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reroll. It's cocked on the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to re-roll it. Okay, uh, 11, do I add anything? Nope. Yeah, so mark one saved down. Okay, great. And it is Aradia's turn. Aradia, you were within the range of the cauldron that was spilled. Roll a d100. Great. What? Oh, that the con that's that just one. me. Okay. Your gust of wind, I see, I see, I see. your gust of wind blew her into that. Yeah, area. I remember. <laughs> Sorry about it. It could it's be good. Tight. I yeah. thought you were gonna be stronger than that. I can't find my D. So my, my if you D10. if you oh you can't find the D10. Yeah, I have my I have my D100. So here, I'll let me start with that, and then we'll go from there. You can just roll those twice. Oh dear. Well, it's fine because I got one hundred. <laughs> you got zero I got zero. The two zeros. Yeah. I think that's just zero. So roll it again, and then you'll get your your second digit. Okay. You're less than ten, um, basically. Great. So I mean, nine. I got nine. <laughs> So you cast Magic Missile at 5th level. 
Oh. Oh. Great. Send so one to Prodi. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> that will hurt him. That's exactly. the point. Yeah. Well, no, but her. but maybe too much. No. Um, it, they're only one d four each. <laughs> Well, now I'm wondering. Okay, fine. Because you have fine. five I'll of do them, it. right? Send four to the creature, one to Prati. Oh, yes. I will do that. I'll definitely do that. Um, where? Sorry, I'm looking for my missiles. Okay. Four, do the, four. Like, do the characters have the wherewithal to know to kill me? Um... It's a Do good they question. Understand how, they understand we, we, thank you. Enough, we but... understand the world. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up, uh, Dave. Everyone who who's making that call right now. Who's gonna? Is it a radio? Is gonna send one? Me. Make an intelligence check. Straight. Yeah. Actually, okay. make an Arcana check. Or if okay, you want to, she wrote. If you want to. Justify it. Uh, <laughs> if you want to justify it with a different proficiency, let me know how you would justify it. No, can... it's fine. She got eighteen. Yeah, you would know that. In one of the, uh, you read that book when you were seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's right. Um, okay, great. So I'm gonna send one of the missiles to Prati, um, oh. which is one. Nice, perfect. Two, so so I, two damage, because uh, it's one d four plus one. So mark one damage off on Prodi. Prodi, yeah. And now you this uh, pigeon poofs back into Prodi, who's sitting on the table. And uh, <laughs> how many more darts do you have? Uh, four. Yes. yes. Uh. It's, I believe it's one more dart for each slot level above first. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so, and because it was a fifth level missile, then four, right? First level missile sends three missiles. But didn't you say it was a fifth level missile? It is. So you get four okay, plus so three, so seven missiles total. So now you have six left. Thank you. Great, okay. So Good looking out. Since I'm sitting Richard. Thanks for the quick math. Namaste. Um, butterflies you know. everywhere. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> um, okay. So can I roll? I think maybe I'll just roll this one, uh, my D four, and have it count for all the missiles. I'm okay. fine with that. All right. I think for saving, saving time. Two. So three times six. Yep. Eighteen. 18. Look yeah. at us, fast mathing, fast mathing. So the room is clear at this point? Yep. Because the stove took it all back in? Yep. Okay. And uh, you see the hag, the coven beasts, two heads turn towards Aradia, and they're like, what the fuck? I thought you were a monk. And <laughs> shoots seven magic missiles. And it's looking uh, bloodied. So you guys are making progress. Yay. Great. Um, so that wasn't even my turn. Correct. Because that was just me. This is the beginning of your the... turn. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Great. Okay. Um, so she is going to run over to Sarah and do a, um, uh, uh, what is it? The medicine. She's like assuring her up. Yeah. Make a medicine so... check. D20 add a... Your medicine. Oh, amazing. Okay, good. So she got 21. Yep. Or no, excuse me, 18. 18. That'll do. Yay, thank you. My pleasure. Um, so and then... Do, do oh, I come back to consciousness, or am I just stable? You're no longer making death saves. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, man, that makes me happy. Okay, so... She's going to do so that counts as her action, yes. Yep. Um, so she's gonna do a bonus action. Can she get let's see, how far away is she from the uh coven beast? Sarah is right beneath it, and Aradia is now behind Sarah, so within 10 feet. 
Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and do an unarmed strike to the coven beast. Um, so that is... Okay, so that was unnatural 20, and uh, she hits five. Okay. All right. Can anybody else hear the person that's screaming out no. on this street corner? Okay, good. Then we let it go. <laughs> it's that great mic. Uh, yeah. So is that your turn? Yes. She's going to take a legendary action. And is going to... Um, let me look this one. All right. Mm. She's just going to claw you, Aradia. going to be a uh, 26 to hit. Great. Hits. Ooh. Uh, 18 slashing Ooh. damage. Yes, please, someone help me. Are you unconscious or no? Um, she is at 8. Okay. When does unconsciousness happen? Zero. You're good. Great. I'm alive and that is the legendary action it's now hottie's turn who's by the oven oh yes uh okay so let's see hottie's plan was to hit uh proddy but now he doesn't have to so um let's go ahead and glaive the shit out of this do uh, it uh, 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 uh. and again i do not have ten, so i'm gonna use my uh, I'm going to use my 100 and then just take the first number. Yeah, but make your uh, attack roll first. Yes. I'm doing what you told me to do, which is roll both. At the oh, same cool. Time. Thank you. Um, uh, it is 17. Go ahead. Does and, that hit? Yes, it does. Go ahead. and. Okay, great. And then that's 6 plus 5, 11. Uh, so... Hottie, uh, after punching the damn thing with his minotaur uh, fist, grabs his glaive and, why didn't I think of this before? Mm -hmm. Swings down with his glaive and smashes it into pieces. <laughs> the oven is now in rubble in the corner. Mission accomplished, Hottie. Yes, 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 yes. And it is now, does he have anything else he wants to do? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, bludgeoning doesn't work on the beast, does it? But I want to keep my rage happening. Well, I guess, uh, it doesn't matter. You got more rages. I think that's it. That's it. Uh. Yeah, I got more rages. Proddy. Can he punch a wall? <laughs> Proddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Proddy wants to use... <laughs> Prati sees that the the beast is is bloodied, and he wants to inflict maximum damage. Takes his rod out, and he's just like, "This is from all birds, ravens, and pigeons alike." <laughs> and I already rolled everything, so I miss with the first beam of black, dark, dark energy, and then the second one I do nine damage. Okay. Don't forget you have items in your possession that could help you in this fight. What do you say? You have items in your possession, like that ring. Yes. Or healing things are also great. Yeah, I was going to, uh, now that I can see everyone, I can walk over 
I mean, I can interact, right? So I can just hand something to someone, or would that be an action? Action. Uh, but you have the ring of quiptical hits as well, I think. Unless Sarah kept it. Anyways. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I have that or not. No, I don't. I don't have that. Uh, feeling. Like bonus. Yeah, bonus action. I want to use a healing on okay. which one's. I guess who do I perceive to be in worse shape, Sarah? Because she's unconscious. Yep. Okay. Well, she's not unconscious, but she Fuck. is still in worse shape. She's, Sorry, only she's only unconscious. She's just not bleeding out. Ah. Uh, oh. I rolled a one. So heal heal one, Sarah. <laughs> Yay. What's the Sorry. um what's the range on healing light? Hold on a second. It's under my bonus actions. Or it'll be under your class features. <laughs> Healing lights. Uh, it doesn't say. It just says dash, dash, feet, reach. Sixty feet. It says sixty feet. You have a pool of seventy-six healing. Uh, as a bonus action, you can heal one creature you can see within 60 feet. Okay. Uh, and that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yep, you're good. So, Sarah, you come back to consciousness just barely. And uh, Aradia is next to you looking horrible. And this hideous <laughs> beast is looming over you on the ground snarling the the <laughs> the kids and children in her midsection are bulging out and moving and just trying to reach out and touch you ew and uh <laughs> yeah it's pretty gross uh coven beast turn on her turn uh she's going to cast eye bite ew so you see her two heads, her two eyes and her two heads turn completely black. And she turns around at um, Prodi and make a wisdom saving throw, Prodi. Fifteen. Okay, so, <laughs> um, you the the dread and and horror that you see in her eyes fills you up with panic, and um, uh, you start to feel nauseous. Not to bring back memories from your recent illness, but uh, you are now sickened, <laughs> and um, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Um, and at the end of uh, its next turn, you can make another wisdom saving throw if you like. So uh, you're sickened, and that's that. And it is going to multi attack. So for the disadvantage, if I'm going to roll, if I'm going to roll for Eldritch Blast again, which I'm, I guess I won't because I'm just going to hand. The healing potion, but if so, each beam I would roll two and then take the lower, correct, correct, and then okay, so just and then every time I roll damage and stuff, it would take the lower, no damage, is just okay, nope, just attack rolls and ability checks, and yeah, that's gonna end its turn, so it is now Nihilus's turn. Um, I'm going to run up to, um, let's see, the next turn Sarah's going to be able to do it herself. So I'm going to run up to a radius so I can heal her. What's your movement? 30 feet. Is that enough? No, not quite. You'll be right next to the Coven Beast. Uh, oh, ew. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll 
you won't have enough movement. Uh, but you do have butterflies and flower petals around you. Okay, then I say, butterflies, attack! <laughs> do they go? No, no. <laughs> can, they, can I ask them to carry a potion over to a radio for me? <laughs> you can ask. If you'd like to use your action to do that, you can. Oh, no, I will not okay. do that. <laughs> um, okay, uh, then I guess I will just have to cast a spell since I get, can't really get next to anyone um i will move 15 feet closer though just okay. so i can be closer I can... 15 i don't think i have any more healing spells anymore i don't know if wizards can do that no they can't okay uh but you have a healing potion or no oh yes that's right yes. okay um all right so i moved a little closer and i am gonna cast um I don't know how to pronounce this, but maybe it's Snillox or Snilox. Uh, yeah, Snillox Snowball. Snowboard. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I'm going to cast that, and so the creature needs to do a deck save. With advantage. Nat 20 on its deck save. Okay, then it's just going to take half damage of what I rolled. Uh, which is, ooh, 3 6 is 18, so 9 okay. damage. And then I'm going to, as my bonus action, swing my trident at it. Uh, here we go. Spiritual weapon. Uh, that's going to be a 20, not a natural 20, but okay. just a 20. Yeah, that hits. And let's roll that. Ooh, uh, 11. Okay, the Coven Beach shrieks out in pain. Uh, it's look, one of its heads looking down at Iridian, one of it's now looking at Nihilus, who is, uh, slightly closer, but not within striking range. So, is that your turn? It sure is. Uh, she's going to use her legendary action to make another claw attack at Iridia. Does 14 hit? No. Swing and a miss. Uh, that's her legendary action. It is now top of the round. Um, oh, um, also, I forgot to do this in the last round, but every... Because the gust of wind is still on, I haven't turned it off. I'm so sorry. Um, you have to start your turn by doing a dex save. Oh, sorry, a strength save so that you're not pushed against 15 feet away. Uh, okay, so... Um, it's when you start your turn. Yeah, and we just went through a radius and, and Sarah's... Um, can I decide to turn it off? It doesn't take an action. Yeah, that's a that? free. Yeah, it's a free action. Oh, okay. Then yeah, it's off. Okay, cool. Um, Since the other's dead, it feels safe. Right. And lair action. Um, the south side walls—they're covered in art and tapestries, like all the other walls. Uh, it's children stabbing and torturing each other. At first, from a distance, it might look like they're playing, but they're all like stabbing each other and. Um, reaching into their chest, trying to rip out organs. And it's going to reach for Prati, as well as Hati. And they need to make a deck saving throw. Nine. Uh. Twenty-one. So Hadi shrugs it off again, uh, but you, Prati, the children reach out and they go, you're going to play with us. You're going to be our friends. You were a pigeon and now you're a bird still. <laughs> and they're just saying weird, nonsensical stuff. And um, you are now grappled, sir. Damn it. And Sarah's turn. Okay, um, so there's no smog left. Uh, if I, um, 
if I walk away from the, is she within range? Like, will she take an opportunity attack or? You don't know, but you're with, you're right up next to her. You're within five feet. Oh, okay. Then I'll just, um, I'm going to cast lightning bolts. Um, and I don't know where, uh, trying to pick. So I want to do it so that it doesn't hit anyone else. So okay. Her, so yeah, you can do that. As a, Okay, yeah, so I do that. How and wide is it? Uh, five feet wide and 100 feet long. Yeah, you're good. You can do it southwest, okay. yeah. Great, so I'll do that, and then it does a dexterity saving throw. Okay. It's going to be 21 dex save. Um, okay, so that saves, but it just takes half damage. Um, let's see... 8d6. Um, so let me see if I have 8d6 die. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. It's um, a lot. Yeah, it's a third level. Um, okay, so 16 plus see, like 10, 20, um, 27 uh, lightning damage. Halved? Halved, yes. So uh, 13. Okay. She screams out in pain, and the two heads start arguing with each other in... Um, what languages do you all I speak? I uh, Giant, common, nature, and plant. Primordial. Uh, you speak Arin, Prati, and common. And Aradia, what do you speak? Um, Aradia speaks all of them, right? No. Remember? No. You're not at no. that level yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then she speaks common, deep speak elvish, and under common. Okay. And haughty speaks uh, draconic. Okay, you guys don't understand it, but there's some, it's a guttural sounds coming from the two uh, heads. They seem to be arguing with each other, and it is um, going to make another legendary action. And, I can't believe it's not dead yet. <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's going to lightning bolt you back. Use no. all three of its legendary actions. Okay. So that will hit... Uh... Make a dex saving throw, Sarah. Uh, yeah. Uh, seven. I will not do it. So that will be, uh, 25 points of lightning damage. Okay, so I have. Uh, how does that work? Where you die forever? Is it if you're if it's if it's double your max HP? Is that yeah, it? if it goes over your max. Okay, so I have my max is thirty two. So, so you're not dead. That. Yeah. Okay. You're just so unconscious. Just unconscious again. Okay. Okay. And that's the legendary action, Aradia. You just saw this giant bolt of lightning streak out across and through Sarah who hit the ground again. Well, you know me <laughs> saving my friend. Actually, you know what? Since she can actually hit, um, I'm going to wait and do that with Hottie, um, even though he's not great. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do um, an unarmed strike to to the beast. Hit it. Oh, that's not great. Okay, that was four. So let's do my second one. 
Um, oh, that was even worse. It's a swing and a miss both times. No. I know. Um, okay, so moving on to Hottie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hottie is going to... Oh, I feel really bad about this. I feel like he's not great at medicine, but here we're going to do. He's going to try and go and um, do a little tourniquet okay. for Miss Sarah. So that is... Does she need a oh. tourniquet? Does she got broken bones? Well, you know, he, he, he'll do whatever he needs to do. He's like, he has some he aloe vera. Yeah. Aloe vera. <laughs> I happen to have aloe vera. Let me help you. <laughs> he just like smacks it on her face. I know. Sadly, he rolled a seven and he has minus for medicine. So it's five. It doesn't work. She, you see Hottie oh. just bend down his minotaur size. He pulls out this rather large bottle of aloe vera that would be huge in pretty much anyone else's hands and he takes a big scoop and starts rubbing it on her eyes and like <laughs> and for some reason he's only for some reason he's only rubbing it on his, on uh, Sarah's eyes he's just like this he's like this should feel better in a moment <laughs> i will save you fearbog <laughs> And, um... <laughs> She's just, like, twitching on the ground. So, is that Hottie's turn? I, yeah, he doesn't have two actions, does he? Uh, you tell me. Uh, he... He doesn't. He doesn't? He doesn't. You can... That's it. it. Yeah, you can attack gonna... twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn mm -hmm. so that's that's not quite he um, didn't uh he prodi didn't, and um oh yeah. maybe he'll do a little unarmored defense as a bonus action can he do that yeah he's constantly doing that but he after he, maybe he i don't know uh rubs the residual <laughs> just aloe vera yeah. on his face too <laughs> like he's preparing <laughs> come out at me you foul beast uh Prodi, you are grappled by children's talking to you in your ears about <laughs> your organs and tasting them and finding out what's inside and stuff. I did a grapple escape of nat 20. Hell so. yeah. You squeeze out and the kids are like, where are you going? Why won't you play with us? <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys are you guys are great, but uh, you know I got this, <laughs> got this hang I gotta do. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, what would you like to... Oh, that was your action. Do you have a bonus action or movement? Um, I mean, I guess for movement, I'll go as close as I can to to uh, Sarah. So 30 feet? Yeah, 30 feet. Okay. And then I'll um, do uh, 1d6 of healing light. Okay. You're right next to Nihilus now, who's still got his butterflies and pedals around Ooh! Mm -hmm. don't uh, touch oh i don't oh i don't nope. see them he, he sees them yeah uh three three healing light oh only i see them i didn't realize i think all of you see it for fun oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just say okay. all of you see it cool okay cool thank you <laughs> that's it for me i thought you were saying thank you for letting us see the butterflies in the <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you thank you're welcome you're welcome yeah <laughs> Uh, the Prodi's turn. It's now the Coven Beast's turn. No, nobody likes the Coven Beast. And... Boo, Coven Beast. Boo, Coven Beast. It's going to <laughs> rotate around so it can get. Ew. Uh, <laughs> why does rotate? <laughs> she gross you out. <laughs> because I like literally just pictured like twisting, <laughs> not like. Making Good. a circle, but like its body just like twists. That's what around. she's doing. Exorcist style. And pus comes out of every orifice Ew. when she does that. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> <laughs> and she moves to the side of uh, Aradia. Does she skitter? No, but oh, Hottie. Oh, what a. That's a gross word. Hottie and Sarah can have a. A. Uh, Opportunity attack if they wish. Yeah. 
Yeah. What? Uh, how do I do that? I punch them or whatever you you tell me. I don't know what you and have. Then, Remember, to do a there. Spell or no, it's only. No, um, you can't. Unless you have okay. Warcaster, I think it's a reaction. No. Okay. Yeah. You'd have to do reaction. unarmed because. Basically, <laughs> yeah. Reminder: bludgeoning, slashing, piercing. Uh, she's immune to all of those. Does she have a magic weapon? Do you? What? What would that be? I don't know if I have a magic weapon. You probably a... don't. Okay, I have. A, I think I have a dagger, right? Yeah, that's so... not. It won't work. I. I don't. I. I think you probably don't. So we'll just. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, can I okay. go through the inventory? Just insult her or something. Yeah, insult her. Okay, you idiot. <laughs> and Hottie's not going to take one too. Oh, uh, no, he's not. He doesn't have anything that he's do to her. Kay. All of it's bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Uh, he, okay, so she moves to get you guys can in a line. Man, let, can he trip her? Does that count as <laughs> bludgeoning, slashing, or piercing? It's a grapple, I think. So grapple's not any of those things, right? He could try to make a athletics check against her athletics or dexterity check. Do to it. Try and... Let's do it. What else are we doing? He's going to try and do it. Okay, so athletics. Yeah, we'll say we'll allow it since even though it's a reaction and that's an action, we'll just say he can do that. Um, okay, great. Yeah, he uh, he has to use athletics. Okay, perfect. Yeah, uh, that was a twenty-seven to hit. Whoa! Uh, he rolled a natural twenty, so uh, she rolled the natural. They rolled the oh. natural twenty, so that automatically. Succeeds, shrugs it off, continues mm. moving to line you guys up for another lightning bolt. Um, mm. And dex saving throw for Hottie, Sarah, and Aradia. Aradia does uh, not uh, save. Um... Hottie, uh, Hottie gets 13. Aradia doesn't save. And you got 14, Justin? Yeah. Okay. Thirty-one lightning damage to all three of you. Oh, radio's <laughs> unconscious. Jeez. Yeah, uh, thirty-one. So I'm not dead, but I'm unconscious. Yeah. So it has to be over thirty-two for him to actually be dead forever. Or minus what he had to begin with. So I don't know what he had left, but. But so it's I not it's not cumulative. Is what I mean. No, 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 no. It resets. It resets every time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is Hottie down too? No, Hottie's totally fine. <laughs> oh, that stings a bit. <laughs> oh, he shit. Has 85, he has 85 HP. He's and he might so take... the barbarian. They're both down, right? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> And it is, I lost track of where we were at. Um... It was just the creature's turn, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's my turn. All right, so I'm going to move in a little bit closer. And I think, uh... <sighs> who do I want to wake up? I'll heal um, Sarah. Do you want to uh, get five feet? with? Like, how close? I, wa I have to touch her. Okay, so... You will be within 10 feet to touch her of the beast, but you can touch her at 10 feet. And she has a little like bit of reach. Toe? Sarah and Aradia are right near each other, right? Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Nihilus, uh, you will be within 10 feet, and you've seen her swing within 10 feet. 
Uh, so you can still touch Sarah. Let me count. 20. Yeah, you can't get to the other side to be further away. Well, but... who's closest to me? Sarah. Okay. I still want to bring her. Okay. To life. Wake me up. Okay, so I'm going to do a <laughs> third level cure wound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On Sarah. Ooh, why did I open that? Um, and that's 3d8. Uh, okay, so that's this one. This one and this one. Uh, okay. Uh, and then I have Empowered Healing, which lets me re-roll uh, a die, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Oh, well, that was not worth it. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's 12, uh, 13. Oh, plus 3, 16. 16. Yeah, thank you. And then I'm going to use a bonus action to swing my trident. Do it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, fuck. That's only 12. Still, she is looking very... They are looking very hurt. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Okay, it screams out in pain. They're arguing furiously with each other. And it is now... Uh, top of the round. Ouch. So it's Sarah's turn. So can can um, people take something from another character like on as their action? Like yeah. could Sarah could Sarah or Radia take the healing potion from me and use it? Yeah, they'd have to use their action. And like if somebody else was like, let's say uh, uh, someone was trying to steal from you, uh, you could make a deck save to yeah, avoid yeah. that. But since they would or you would obviously allow them to, it wouldn't. It would just happen. Uh, so yes, to answer your question. Uh, well, um, lair actions, there's not much. The, uh, bottom, the southeast corner cauldron starts bubbling again, but no one's in that range. Uh, and she's going, she's f very bloodied. There's pus everywhere. The hags are going to use their movement to get the hell out of here. Can we get an opportunity attack? Or? Uh, yeah, you are, are you within, yeah, you're within five feet. Yeah, you can. Um, so, so we can't hurt it. Can we grapple it or do something like trip it? Uh, you can, tr uh, since I let Hottie do it, you can try to gra grapple it. I, I can sure. swing since my weapon is near her, right? I don't think um, spiritual weapons get opportunity attacks. Oh, but, lame. But I will double check just to, I'm pretty sure. What am I, um, how does tripping work? But, uh... She'll just make uh, athletics or um, it's co it's a contested roll. So what did you roll? I rolled a thirteen. And I don't know if I add anything. Uh, you add your athletics. Okay, uh, minus one, so twelve. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Um, yeah, no. A spiritual weapon doesn't get an opportunity attack. Boo. Um, a radius down. Hottie's probably not going to take the action. So, the Coven Beast... I mean, he grappled. He would grapple. Okay, go ahead and roll. So, it's like... <laughs> Sarah tries to like, grab. What else are we doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, might as well. Oh, no, that wasn't great. Pra um, Prani's, uh, Prani's right near there, too, right? No. I ran, up to, I ran up to Sarah at the end of the last turn. You ran up to um, Nihilus. You tried to get as close to Sarah as possible, and you only got... Oh. You're still okay. 20 feet away. Oh, jeez. Um, 15. Um... 
Yeah, so that... And he, what's... Go ahead. Is there a modifier? His athletics. Grapple? His athletics. Oh, then actually that might not be bad. Um, he got 14. Okay. She rolled a natural 19. Darn. Uh, this hag, these hags are, these two hags in one form are running towards the northeastern wall and they're screaming and cursing in some language you don't understand and the corner of the northern northeast wall uh, lifts up and it looks like she's making her way into some sort of hidden um, tunnel of some kind. Pretty big tunnel, though, because she's a pretty big girl. Um, and guy. Uh, okay, so. Um, 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 um. Who had the last turn? I'm totally sorry. He said it was the top it of the It was Nihilus, so Sarah is turn, right? Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Just forget that. Uh, she's still next Why? to Aradia. Because she didn't have a turn. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it's Sarah's turn. Yay. Yeah. Sarah's <laughs> turn. Kill the bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I... It has a five... So I'm going to... If I want to do lightning bolt, it has a five foot width. So can I turn so I'm not hitting anyone? You would hit Aradia. It's fine. I'm unconscious. It would probably there... kill you permanently. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no, can I step and then do it? Um, the beast will get an opportunity attack. Um, you want to step away and do it? I, I, is there a way to turn, like, like still step five feet and then do it? Like, uh, I don't know sure. how big of a five foot. Sure, is. go ahead. We'll say yes. Okay. Um, so I do that, and so I use up five feet, and then I um, uh, do lightning bolts. So it's a uh, let me see, a dex, uh, uh, dex save. Okay. What's your, but what's your DC? Um. She got fourteen on the dex save. I think you said it was 13 or something. Save DC is 14. Okay, so she saves. 14 is just there. So she takes half damage. Okay, so um, 12 plus 3 is 15, 20 plus um, 27. So half that is 13 lightning damage. Yep. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to use... The, I'm going to use my bonus action to turn invisible with hidden step. It's a furball yep. thing. And then uh, now that I'm invisible, can I use the rest of my movement to walk as far away and then hopefully not get an opportunity attack? Still gets an opportunity attack. It's just at disadvantage. Do you still okay, want to do that? Okay, let me try and do that. Okay. Roll the 10 on that, but I need to add the modifier, which is... Nine, so 19. That's with disadvantage? Yep. Okay, so that hits. Oh, that's horrible. Nine slashing. Okay. So I take nine damage. It's still alive. Um, so where did you want to move? Uh... I'm gonna move. So if I'm invisible, so she won't know where I'm moving, right? So I'm gonna. That's what you I'm think. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You don't I know think... what her abilities are, right? Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna move um, towards. Oh wait, I don't know that. I don't know that the wall is opening up or that she's running. So I guess I would move. I would move away from her. So I'm gonna move. Um, east. The... Nor... Yeah. Or northeast. East. Where do you want to move? Um, well, I'll move east. Okay. Your full movement? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are well and far away from her, them. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, Sarah's turn. Aradia, make a... You're still down, correct? Yep. Make a death save. And what's that? Is it... Roll 1d20. Uh Uh-huh. Eighteen. Mark one save, successful. Right. Which you can do in D and D Beyond if you click your. I portrait. know I'm playing. It's oh, fun. cool! It immediately once you go down to zero, it immediately like death yeah. save time. Yeah. Um. And it is now Hottie's turn. Hottie is going to do, um, a grapple. He's going to grapple. Mm-hmm. Make the <laughs> athletics check. Mm-mm-mm. That is 22. Yeah, that'll do. He grapples the beast, and he's like, Oh, this is horrible. Put it out of its misery so I can release her. This is disgusting. Oh, I'm going to throw a... And then... Uh... <laughs> Prody, it is your turn. He vomits turn. into her mouth. Into his mouth. <laughs> Prody, it is... I'll roll for it to see if Which that house? happens. <laughs> he rolled a one on his constitution save to see if he throws up. So, yes, he throws up on her. <laughs> Ew. Okay, In Nihilus its mouth. Let me make it very clear. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Prody. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> I said I said a bit of the old spit up. <laughs> Sorry about that, chap. <laughs> I I make my way over to Aradia and I give her the healing potion. Can I make her can I just like make her ingest it on my action? You can or? use your action to pour it in her mouth. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, and so I rolled her throat. So but I you don't have you all... don't you haven't been given consent, so <laughs> She's dead. He doesn't need. Con- I'm... <laughs> okay. Listen, let's have a conversation. No. So I'm unconscious. No. I rolled. I rolled all the healing and got sixteen healing. Damn. Yeah, wow. I rolled. I rolled three, three or four times in a row. So then it's a plus four for the healing. Welcome potions. back. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay, so you're mm-hmm. next then, to a radio. What would you like to do now? So, just as a, a bonus action, I'll just also cast another healing light. Wait a minute. Did you use your regular potion? Healing potion? What do you mean? No, no, no. I. This is not healing light. This is a potion that I had. Right. And what kind of potion was it? Oh. What's the name of it? It's just called Potion of Healing Greater. How did Potion you, of Greater? How did potion. you get a Greater Healing Potion, not like a regular potion? How? Pff, I don't know. <laughs> I forget how it came. <laughs> Do you I've think, had it for a long time. So it's the one I set you guys up with. Yeah. Okay, so it would be a regular healing potion, um, which would be two D four plus two, I think. Okay. Well, I guess I may, maybe I entered the wrong one. Yeah. No, me. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I, I, so it would be. So roll two d four. Well, I can just take the half of the. I mean, I rolled three, four times in a row. So. Oh, okay, sure. Whatever you. So what, just that's six fine. plus whatever the bonus is. So eight points of healing instead of sixteen, Aradia. Got it. So I'm gonna take that out Are of my I inventory. I still happily accept. Thank you. Cool. And then I'm gonna roll just a regular healing light. Yep. Two. My healing lights have sucked. I've rolled one twice, and now I just rolled a two. It happens. But you have so much that... left in there. Oh, was that on me, Dave? Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. No, you're not happy with it, but I am. Okay. So it's Monster's turn. Schmonster is going to use its action to try and get out of Hottie's grip. So he needs to make another um, athletics check. Mm. 15. Woo! She rolled 16. And um, so she shrugs off Hottie, who's throwing up. 
That probably had something to do with it. <laughs> and uh, she's now going to try to run, and I believe Hadi, Aradia, and Prati will get opportunity attacks. So go ahead and roll those. Radia got 13. Miss? Oh, and then Hottie. Come here, come here. Hottie got 18. But, uh, so in an, oh, sorry, go ahead. He doesn't, he's not hitting with anything magical, correct? Right. He's just, okay. he's just trying. Come back. Um, Con Prati? constantly trying to hug some people, you know? Um, can I use Eldritch Blast as a opportunity attack? Is it a reaction casting time? Oh, it has to be a reaction casting time. Uh, I will do. <sighs> I, I mean, I guess I'll just do an unarmed strike, but it's just a damage of one. And it'll be immune to it. An Unar unarmed strike? Yeah, because your hands aren't magical like a radius. Oh, got it, got it. She can punch ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So now the thing that I already described happens. <laughs> uh, with her making her way towards the, the uh, secret tunnel. And um, it is now Nihilus's turn. Uh, I'm going to go after her. Okay, you are within... She had to pass me, so she didn't get too much further than me. Yeah, no, you're within tw 15 feet, so you can... There's a little table kind of blocking her uh, <clears throat> bookshelf table type thing, but you can kind of still rearrange yourself mm -hmm. so you're within line of perfect line of sight. You're within line of sight now, but it's up yeah. to you. I'm casting Magic Missile on her. Oh, and cool. And I'm doing a level three so that I have five darts total. Okay, so roll your damage. Eleven. <laughs> finish, finish it. How do you want yes. to finish it? Okay, yeah. so I, um, I, I put my hands forward, and darts fly out of my hands, and they go, uh, one, uh, one in her head, uh, one on each of her hands, and 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 one on each of her feet, and it forms a pentagram, and then, <laughs> I, and and um. I don't know if they can explode, but if they can, they do. Sure, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, she goes down, it goes down in a heap, and it splits apart into kind of like a destroyed mess. The male and female hags uh, are still disgusting looking as they were when they were together, but they're now dead on the floor in the northeast corner of the room with that secret tunnel open. And... Uh, yeah, what would you like to do? You're out of initiative right now. Uh, is is every is everyone okay? Uh, Let me tell you what. I 100 <laughs> percent are. I, I can tell you that I do. Not, I would be a bad idea for me to fight another person until I get some good healing. Me too. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Use your potions. Okay, I would like to. I don't have any potions. In investigate the blob and see if I can like find anything. And I also like release uh, Siren so she could do what she needs to do. So she goes around and there's only one in this chamber uh, that she finds in the uh, southern corner, uh, Haggai, and eats it, and then she's just kind of doing her doggy stuff. Okay. And, and... Um, so the hags it, themselves were essentially nearly nude when you were fighting them, so everything was wrinkly and fetid and gross, 
and it's still that situation. So uh, if you guys want to all make an investigation check for the room, we can do that and just call that the end of it. Can we make a, I don't want to see that roll. Uh, I don't want to see, sure. see that. Um, <laughs> I got a two. Six. Um, investigation. I add six. So uh, 11. Haradia Hottie got, Haradia, uh, uh, Hottie got 15. Aradia <laughs> got. Uh, 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 Aradia got nine. Wow. All right. Uh, well, thank God for hot. Huh. I know. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Uh, <laughs> he says to Froddy and and Nihilus, who are like padding padding like the floor where there's clearly nothing. Um, <laughs> so everybody got their pencils ready. Yeah. yeah. All right, so on one of the tables on the eastern side of the room, there are pastries, bars, scones, cookies, and such. Uh, and um, there are a pile of small humanoid bones kind of scattered on various tables, some of similar that are around the, the oven. And there's some powder that you may think is you probably think are the bones ground up um, next to the cookies. Mm -hmm. And you find 60 platinum pieces, 118 gold pieces, 94 silver pieces. Are you good with that? I am going to yeah. continue as long as you... Yep. Okay. Uh, and then... You find Hottie finds, I should say. <laughs> uh, he's not hiding it or anything, though. Um, he goes, "Oh, I found some sort of uh, it's like a token of some sort. It's got spiders on it, and uh, it's got like a drider. Uh, it's pretty weird. Uh, no offense, Aradia, but uh, you're a drow, aren't you?" <laughs> <laughs> What's offensive about acknowledging what I am? Well, I don't want to make assumptions about you knowing what this thing is, and he shows it to you, and uh, you make make a history intelligence check, Aradia. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Very low DC because of your background. Well, uh, I, I hope it's super low because I got a five total. That's what you needed. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, well, like, if it makes you feel better, I'm also a monk. So that is probably helpful. Um, yeah, the rest of, you know, the rest of your party uh, wouldn't have a clue what it is. But um, so, you know, this is a drow insignia of a house, like a. A, uh, there's houses that usually control uh, the major drow cities in the Underdark. Um, and this one has the insignia of House Lolmenre. L-O-L-M-E-N-R-A-E. -E. And you also know that the members of these houses... Um, wear these and they uh, usually around a, like a chain around their neck and um, it's used to uh, it has spells in it essentially you don't know what spells are in each one because each house does can put different stuff in it um, but you know that they're usually used to kind of store spells uh and you need a secret command word to do that. Uh, so... Radia shouts, Hassan Pfeffer. Nothing happens. <laughs> Except for that cool little weird sound that just happened. Did anybody else hear that? Oh, that, no, maybe yeah, that was just me. Yeah, yeah it was Justin. <laughs> Great. Um, and then you find a note on the same table, which is like the eastern side of the room. There's... Uh, it's um, kind of like their work area. 
uh, you find a note written to Drek Carver and Clock Cradle that essentially says, follow the instructions and uh, do not fail again. But it's made out to these two that you just killed. And then you find a wand. Hot he does. Ooh. I found a wand. I don't know what gimme, it does. Gimme, gimme. Uh, he he, uh, <laughs> he swings it around and he starts mumbling and bumbling and he gets lucky. And he casts, he uses it. And he casts it at Aradia, which Aradia, you, you uh, start scowling. Like, like your worst scowl. And you can't help but do it. You're trying, you're trying <laughs> to stop. Like even when other people are laughing because you're scowling all of a sudden, and Hottie goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I never used magic. I don't know how this happened." You turned me into Grumpy Cat. <laughs> <laughs> so he hands it over immediately to whoever will take it because he's freaked out that it activated, and. Uh, Someone, it's a wand of scowls, essentially. I won't make you do an identify check or an identify spell for that, but it's a wand of scowls. And that's all you found in this room. And, uh, yeah, if any, th any final words before we plug anything? Um, well done, guys. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, it congratulations. Nihilus killed the hag. Well, yeah. maybe. <laughs> I don't think it was the hag. <laughs> I think hag. I think it was the two the two um, opposing orphanages. The two. Hopefully. Yeah. You know, we'll see. Um, I definitely need to sleep at some point. Just throwing that out there, or get healed when we come back. Oh, next I was like, round. I was like, it's only two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes. Annalyn told you that Auntie Nani's true name, I believe, was uh, Clot Cradle. I don't or no, excuse me, that. Drek Carver. Drek Carver. Okay, I did write that down, but I don't. I just wrote it down. I don't think she told us that. Okay, well then I just accidentally gave you more information than you had. <laughs> Great. As a congratulations for beating a t difficult encounter. Yay! Yeah. So let's go around and plug whatever you need to plug, and we'll come back next week to find out what oh, I happens. You were gonna say we leveled up. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Jesus. Justin. Ha! Oh, by the way, congratulations to Justin for having such an awesome taping of his comedy special. We all went. It was fantastic. Uh. I don't think he can hear us uh, because he's got a scowl. Someone used the wand of scowls on him. And um, he's just... <laughs> and, but congratulations to him. He was so funny. He's, uh... Oh, it makes what? me so sad he can't hear all... Uh, now he's frozen, I think. But, oh, no. Uh, here we go. Can you hear us, Justin? Justin, you're on mute. Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening i'm so oh, gosh, happy Justin. right now this is great anyways congratulations to him we'll go funniest man alive uh, yes. believe us it was pretty funny it's not funny like it's he doesn't look funny right now but it was very funny um and i uh I, we did talk and i believe it will be on youtube and possibly purchased for itunes as an album at some point we will see cool. so when that happens we'll let you know yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's plug whatever you need to plug. Uh, Dave, let's start with you. Nothing to plug, man. Okay, Just... Aradia. <laughs> uh, you can find me on all of the social media at Catherine, not IRL. That's Catherine, K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E, -E, not IRL. And currently, I am looking for any recommendations on fun things to do in Singapore in January. Thank you. Richard? Hi, my name is Richard Cardenas. You can find me everywhere at Lev Richard C. Uh, listen to the podcast, Awkward Human Survival Guide, and Interview with a Nerd. That's it. Bye. And Justin's frozen, it looks like. So. Uh, uh, you can find him online at justinmatson.com. And we already plugged it. There will be plenty it. of. 
Yeah, his stuff. Uh, there will be plenty of information on that web. And follow Venture Ventures on Twitter. Like, subscribe, all the YouTube, all the podcast stuff. It really helps us out in getting the word out. And uh, please do that. You can follow me at Jake Friday on Twitter. And yeah, thank you for joining us. Be good to each other. Be kind to yourself. And uh, join us next week for the next episode of Venture Ventures.